The state is urging people not to eat Mauna Loa macadamia nuts that are now part of a recall and is urging businesses to stop selling products received after September 6th. The state says E. coli was found in the company's wells. But just two days ago, Mauna Loa told us it was okay to eat the nuts. Sarah Madison follows up. Sarah? Joe, we spoke to the state health sanitation branch chief, Peter Oshiro. We asked him why the company told us its products were safe to eat on Saturday, only to find out that today everything is recalled. Oshiro tells us the company pretty much jumped the gun. I wanted to start off by mm. asking, on Saturday, right. the company said that their products were safe to eat. Two days later, DOH is mm. saying that the products need to be recalled right. and stripped off the shelves. So. What happened there? What changed? Did the company even consult with DOH before they made that statement on Saturday? Apparently not. We did not know that they were going to put out that statement, and we were taken aback when we saw that report. Apparently, the company was very um, remorseful about putting out that statement, and it, they admitted that it was an accident or a mistake on their part, an error on their part. That they sh yes, that they should have come to us to clear that statement prior. The facility on the Big Island has two wells that get tested routinely every month, but rigorous testing took place this month after well two tested positive for E. coli. The chief of the Safe Drinking Water branch tells us the water was still safe to drink because it was disinfected and no E. coli has been found in the faucets. That changed on Friday when more test results showed that E. coli was also present in well one and one of the faucets in the facility. That's when the health department shut down the plant until corrections are made. Oshiro tells us in any establishment that handles food, you need water for hygiene purposes. Employees have to wash hands prior to engaging in any food handling practices. The second thing, of course, is cleaning, sanitizing the equipment mm -hmm. that's used to contact any food product used in the process. So when a normal restaurant loses their water supply, it's an automatic shutdown. They have to close down because nobody can wash their hands at that point. So they lose personal hygiene. This is a little bit worse because not only was it was not they didn't have water, they had contaminated water. The state says no illnesses related to the water have been reported. We did reach out to the company, and a spokeswoman tells us they're currently working on getting product codes. That way, people can check if they have a recalled product. That list is not out yet, but we'll have it posted on our website at khon2.com when it comes out. Joe? Thank you, Sarah.